Hey guys, welcome to day three of How to Play the Fiddle. We're going to be learning a song called Arkansas Traveler that's going to sound eventually like this. Alright, so to be able to play the song, we should learn the, the bass notes first. So I'm going to go through those with you. So we have A, B, and then D. F sharp, E, D, B, eighth notes now, B, B, A, 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 D, 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 E, first finger, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, D, B on the G string, A, 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 D, F sharp, E, D, sharp D A B A G F sharp D E D it's like that so those are the bass notes of the tune so let's go ahead and play it together and just like we've learned in the previous couple lessons uh, very commonly in bluegrass music we do what's called slurring two notes together and then separating so it's gonna basically go slur separate slur sep Right, right, like that. So let's do it together. So where I would start the slur. Here comes a slur. Separate. Now obviously not always do you have eighth notes consecutive, but every time you see four eighth notes in a row, I would always do slur separate. And then if it's just a, a quarter note, then you just sort of play it like it is. All right, so um, another thing we can add into this tune is slides. So we've learned about how to do up slides and down slides. So remember up slides are when you move this way towards your fourth finger, and down slides when you move the other direction to kind of get that sort of soury feel towards the neck Boom, 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 boom. So we learned that. Um, actually, the only spot I would recommend a downslide is the very last note of the song, or second to last. Boom, boom. Okay. Everything else will be an upslide. So let's go ahead and play it together with some upslides and some downslides. <laughs> Now for those of you guys who have been playing longer, I highly recommend putting in some drones. And basically when you're in the key of D like we are right now, when you're on the G string, you're going to play also on the D string. So make sure you avoid hitting that D string with your fingers on the G. So this is an example of how it's going to sound if you do it properly. So that was me playing on the G and D. Now if you play on the D string, I recommend in the key of D to also play on the A string. So your fingers should lean more towards the G string so you get that proper drum. Because if you hit that A string with that, any of those fingers, it's going to sound really bad. Okay? So here's how it's going to sound with playing on the D string and an A. Good. Now when we play on the A string, you can also play on the D string. So you're basically just flipping your fingers from the D to the A, playing the, two, the same two strings. So... like that. So really good practice would be to do exactly what, what I'm about to do. With just my first finger, I'm going to play G1, D1, A1, and along with each of those notes, I'm playing an adjugant string, which I just explained to you. So just like this.
just to make sure you understood what I just did, I played G1, which is an A, along with D. I played D1, which is an E, along with A. And I also played A1, which is a B, along with D. Like that. And those are three really common chords in the key of D. So, so if you guys can practice that, remember it's all about context, not about forcing. Then eventually you'll be able to get that really cool droning sound for Arkansas Traveler. All right, let's go ahead and play it uh, with some slides with some uh, dronings and see how it sounds. And by the way, I'm going to go um, kind of uh, not real slow, but not real fast, kind of in between. And just notice as I went towards the end, I didn't put as many slides in towards the beginning. So it's all just sort of interpretation. Whenever you want to put slides in, uh, it sounds cool, but certainly you don't have to do it the same way every time. It's actually recommended that you do it different ways each time. All right, let's go a little bit faster, um, sort of how we played at the very beginning, uh, now putting it all together. So anybody that's been playing under five years will probably have a really hard time doing this, maybe even doing the droning. So I would say that would be pushing it. Um, but yeah, if you've been playing, say, you know, eight years violin, you probably could do this. All right, let's do it together. Ready? Go. <laughs> And that sort of uh, ties into what we're going to be learning next, which is improvisation. And that's basically putting in extra notes or different notes based on the melody, which makes it sound even cooler when you start to do Arkansas Traveler or any other tunes different ways. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for uh, having interest in the fiddle. I'm sure you'll really enjoy playing it. It's a lot of fun. Have a good day. God bless.